Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to take you through how to implement Swiper.js into your Ionic React applications. So before I take you through an example of using Swiper.js and take you through step by step through the code, I want to show you the Ion Slides component here. The Ion Slides component is a default stock component within the Ionic framework currently. However, in version 6, this component will actually be deprecated. It'll be gone and we'll not have access to it. So the Ion Slides component originally was developed by the Ionic team to bridge the gap between Swiper.js and uh, JavaScript frameworks. You can see here from the documentation that it was adopted from Swiper.js. So the Ionic Slides and the Ion Slide components are all built using Swiper.js. So this video is gonna be all about how to implement Swiper.js into your Ionic applications. So what is Swiper.js? Swiper.js is basically just a mobile touch slider. So if you've seen on an app where you can slide through cards or containers or certain images, this will be done using some sort of touch slider. Swiper.js is known as probably one of the best ones out there. So this is why I'm going through this as well as because the documentation says that the Ion Slides was adopted from Swiper.js. So it makes most sense to use Swiper.js because it was used under the hood anyway. So Swiper.js can be used with all the different JavaScript frameworks, but obviously today we're gonna focus on React. And now I wanna just take you through a quick example of how these slides can look while using Swiper.js. So on screen now, you can see a little app user interface that I've developed for the Ionic React Hub. If you like the look of this app while I go through this example, you can find the link in the description of this video. You can go on there, check it out and download the source code. You can really use this for whatever purpose you want. So if you like it, the link is in the description. So the reason I'm using this as an example is because for this particular app, I implemented some slides using the Swiper.js package. So if you look below the popular trips title, you can see some ion cards that are holding an image and some text. And we can swipe through these just like we could swipe through the ion slides component. So it performs really well, quite like the ion slides, probably because Swiper.js was used under the hood. And the implementation in the code is very similar to Ion Slides as well, which I will we'll show you in a little second. So again, if you like this app, the link is in the description. You can go ahead and use it for whatever purpose. But right now, I'm going to take you through a little small coding tutorial on how to implement Swiper.js in your Ionic React applications. So I've went ahead and set up a basic Ionic app using the Ionic start command. If you don't know about this command, I'll put the command up on the screen now for you. However, if you've already got an app that you want to implement Swiper.js into, then you can go ahead and implement it into your existing app. I'm also using the new capacitor run command, which allows me to open my app in my simulator and benefit from the hot reloading within my code. So two things we need to start off. We need to make sure that our app can handle SAS, so a package like Node SAS will do the job. The next thing, we want to go to the Swiper.js website and head over to the React section. And we want to npm install Swiper. So I've already installed Swiper, so I don't actually need to do this. And then if we go down to the usage, the most basic implementation of Swiper.js is basically importing Swiper and Swiper Slide from Swiper React. Quite like how we would have imported Ion Slides and Ion Slide from Ionic React. We also need to import the little style here that goes with the slides. So let's take these two and paste them into our tab one component here. So the next thing we wanna do is we want to implement the Swiper component as the parent containing slider component from our Swiper Slides. So we basically do that by opening up our swiper here and we'll close it as well. And then there's a few props here that the swiper takes. So if we go back to the documentation, you can see that there is space between slides per view 
and you've also got some callback functions here like on slide change and on swiper. For this tutorial I'm taking you through the basic implementation so we're just going to take the space between and the slides per view props and use those. So let's put in here space between and let's go with 40 and slides per view let's go with two you can also have decimal numbers in here as well so you could have like 1.5 or 2.5 and then within the swiper component the children of the swiper are basically the swiper slides so we would just put in here swiper slide and within this swiper slide the child of the swiper slide would be your component so in here you could have an ion card or an image or something like that so for this little demonstration and tutorial i'm gonna actually set up a basic little array here and we'll just have a title and call this a uh, path and we'll have a subtitle and call this long path and we'll also have an image path for these and for this one we'll do mountains and the subtitle will be big mountains and we'll also have an image and the last one uh, I'm not sure what it'll be so let's just call this one unknown and we'll also have an image here as well so let's go off and get some images now uh, you can go to unsplash.com to get some nice images, uh, free stock images. So I'm going to use this for this certain tutorial. So let's download these into our project. I'm going to save these into the public folder, public assets folder. And let's save this. That's actually rude. And let's look for some mountains. There's some mountains we can use as well. So let's save all these. And they're all .jpeg. So let's just change this one to road. And our image will be forward slash assets forward slash road .jpeg. And our mountains will be assets mountains .jpeg. And our unknown is unknown.jpg. So now that I've got a simple array of objects set up, I can map over these inside the swiper component. So let's just do data.map and don't forget your index in here for the return. And the first thing we want to return within our map is the swiper slide component because that's what's going to hold our component that we display our data within. So we want to say swiper slide here and the key for this will be slide and then the index if i can spell and then within our swiper slide the child of the swiper slide is going to be the component that's going to hold the data so something like a card within the ionic framework or you can create your own sort of container if you want so for this i'm going to use the ion card so let's say ion card and then within the ion card, I want to display that image as a nice header. So just within the card, we can do image source, then card.image, and we'll put a little alt of card. And I've got a simple class set up, which basically alters the height to make all of the images the same height, just in case some of our images have different dimensions on each other. So within our card as well, we want some ion card content and within here i'm going to use an ion card title with a class name of title and we're just going to output card.title so you can see the title appears now inside our ion card and then most people use uh, subtitles in here but i'm going to be different and use an ion note and i'm going to have a class name of subtitle here and we're just going to output our subtitle and that's basically it. As always, you could have a router link here. 
and this could take you off somewhere like forward slash tab 2 and that will navigate the user to somewhere else in your app if they click the card obviously we're not referencing the card object here we're just uh, hard coding this in here so all of our cards will take us to tab 2 so let's see what that looks like so if we click this card you can see it brings us to tab 2 and then back to tab 1 so guys that's basically it there, there's a lot more functionality within the swiper js package so if we go to the documentation here you can see all of these different things that you can um, uh, import from swiper directly here and then to use all of these like navigation pagination scroll bars we just uh, use the swiper core dot use and list everything we want inside the array and then we we have access to additional props within our our main parent swiper component there's also some additional styles that you'll need to import but it's all pretty much basic stuff if you have a good read through the documentation if you need additional functionality it will be in here swiper js is a brilliant package for mobile touch slider um, but for this video i wanted to take you through the implementation of it how to get it looking like the ion slides and as we flick through these cards actually that path is wrong that should be forward slash assets you can see as we flick through these cards here you know the performance is great it looks really really good you know this is a really good feature to have in your your ionic apps because you know the the ui looks amazing the user experience is great as well because what user doesn't like swiping through uh, little cards or images within an app it just looks really cool and i don't really know any apps out there popular apps out there that don't use some sort of slider within their app albeit it might not be with cards but it can be with anything so guys that's pretty much it for the implementation of swiper js if you like this video if it helped you please leave a like on this video it really helps me and uh if if you were here checking this out leave a comment below because i i love engaging with people i reply to every comment that i get so leave a little comment and i'll be sure to reply to you if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to me uh, I love helping people. I love passing on my knowledge. It's one of my passions. So the more people there are, the more people I can help. And it would be great to have you on board. Also, if you have any questions or queries, you can check me out on Twitter at 93Allen. I'm very active over there, posting a lot about Ionic and React. And as always, the app from the start, the example, I'll have the code in the description as well. I will also have the code to this little tutorial in the description um, if you want to check out the, the tutorial code here as well. It'll be available in the description as well. So guys, that's pretty much it. Swiper.js within your Ionic React applications. I hope it helped and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.